Axel and Emily, Most Reverend Dr. Morris. And referee Mickey Loftus from Mayo throws in the ball and down immediately on the attack. Jim Milligan collecting the ball, sending a long one up the centre. Pull forward Sean O'Neill. And the nice left foot kick goes over the bar for Dan for a second. A great start for Dan. Joe Lennon takes a free. Jim Milligan again. And Jim, with his fist, sends it over the bar to stretch Dan's lead to two points. This is putting it up to the Kerry men now. But they're coming back in attack, trying to settle down. A long shot from Pat Griffin is saved by goalkeeper Danny Kelly for down, and Danny comes away and clears the ball into the centre of the field again. From a tangle, there's a free for Kerry taken by Mick O'Connell, and this long kick by Mick goes all the way over the bar after three and a half minutes, two points to one with down ahead. Down stretch their lead still further with a goal, and then Kerry coming back to attack once more. The down half-back line tackling very tenaciously. And Kerry finding it very difficult to get through. Eddie Doherty getting the ball into the centre. Otto Dunn who clears it away for Kerry. And here comes John Murphy on the left for down. Sending it in towards Paddy Doherty. Comes to Sean O'Neill, whose shot is blocked by Johnny Cullity, but the clearance comes to John Murphy again, and John's shot goes all the way to the net. Another goal for Down. Down, 2 3 to a point ahead. That's eight points in the difference, and Nico Dwyer reduces the lead with a point from a free for Perry, but they're still in great trouble. Joe Lennon once more setting up a down attack. Ball running right through, but Johnny Cullity, Kerry's goalkeeper, is ready, and out he comes through quite a few players to clear that ball away to the sideline. Colin McAlarney for Dan, onto his captain, Joe Lennon. Joe with a very thoughtful kick, sending his forwards moving again. Sean O'Neill to Paddy Doherty. Paddy's kick is blocked down, though, on this occasion. And the ball goes into the unmarked Peter Rooney, and a great save by Johnny Cullity in the Kerry goal, saves almost a certain goal for Dan. Back come Kerry again. It's Kerry's captain, Pat Griffin, gaining possession near the down goal. Finding himself in a lot of trouble, but kicks the ball over his shoulder and over the bar. Kerry's first score from play. They're still six points behind, but now they're only five as Mick O'Dwyer sends a free over the bar. And Kerry are coming more into the game. Now it's Brendan Lynch's turn for Kerry. On the right wing, making some ground. Even a stumble doesn't stop him as he kicks this one left-footed over the bar to reduce the arrears to four points. Two four to five points, then, and Kerry really attacking, but Downs, Danny Kelly, clearing the ball away, and at the other end of the field, it's Paddy Doherty trying to make his way in, being fouled, and a free being awarded to Down. Paddy Doherty to take it himself. And the top scorer of the championship sends it over the bar once more. Two four to five points, which down ahead. Down at another point, and then it's Sean O'Neill coming in to Paddy Doherty. And Paddy with another point for down. Seven points in the difference now as we approach half time. And Kerry really in trouble as they look for their 21st All Ireland title. Paddy Doherty once more. Another free. Doherty takes it and Johnny Cullity saves, but at the expense of a 50 for Dan. Tom O'Hare, in his new position of centre half back, takes this 50 and sends it all the way over the bar for another point for Dan. 2-7 to 5 points and Dan are well ahead. This is the halftime score as the band pay their tribute to Kerry and to the stars of the county Dan. Uchtaran Hare in the Lawher, Eamon de Valera, and Dr. Morris. In goes the ball for the second half, and down again, not letting up at all, are away in attack. It's Mickey Cole's turn now to go on a solo run. Despite being followed, he still has control of the ball, gets it out to John Purdy. Down playing very intelligent football, back to Mickey Cole. It goes on to the roving Sean O'Neill. 
and Sean making some space for himself fits the ball coolly over the bar and Downs lead is nine points. It looks as if they're well on their way to their third All-Ireland title but Mick O'Dwyer has something to say about that as he sends the ball over the bar. Here you have another point but then it's down attacking once more. Sean O'Neill once more setting up an attack for down. Paddy Doherty takes a shot and he gets another point for down. 2-9 to 7 points at this stage with 6 minutes gone in the second half. Brendan Lynch trying to get an opening for the Kerry man. Finds himself whistled back for a free for Kerry which Brendan himself takes and sends over the bar. Back from Kerry again and their captain Pat Griffin has a very nice point for them to reduce the margin to 6 points. And McCartan kicking out for down. And in the centre of the field, it's Mick O'Connell running onto the ball, and the man from Valencia, although being tackled, sends in a very, very fine kick which goes over the bar to reduce the arrears to five points. There you are, those five points behind. Captain of the team, Pat Griffin, trying to get his men going and sending the long point over the bar to reduce it to four points of the deficit. Half a minute later, Teddy Doherty to Peter Rooney for down. And Peter Schatz is another point for down. There you have another point, but the margin is still five points as Teddy Doherty starts another attack for down. Colin McAlarney. And a great catch by Paddy Doherty, trying to get through. He's not allowed on this occasion, but there is a free in for Dan, which Paddy himself is going to take. And no doubt about it, it's 2-11 with 12 points down ahead and only five minutes left in the game. So you're still not finished. Ball coming across the center, and full forward DJ Crowley kicks it over the bar for Perry. The time has nearly run out for Kerry. There's only that half captain of the down team, Joe Lennon, a man who didn't play in the second half on account of an injury, makes his way to the house. 